welcome back to our channel once again today i'm super uber mega excited to be sharing this video with you guys because today we're gonna be talking about the christmas lottery and during this movie there is actually a very very good lesbian relationship and basically marriage that i have fallen in love with the connection the love that the two women have for one another is just on a different level even though i understand it's christmas movies it's very straight to the point but i still like the connection and the way the storyline was actually different from, from the other storylines that i have used to watch when it comes to a christmas movie but before we get into further details please don't forget to like comment share subscribe and also let me know your personal opinion down below in the comments as well because like i always say your opinion does matter and if you guys have watched this movie also let me know you know why would you personally read it from one to ten me i will personally read it a strong eight out of a ten that's just my opinion so let's get right into further details so basically like i said the movie is called the christmas lottery it's a movie that was was released in 2020 so basically it follows a family that wins the lottery but loses the winning ticket they must you know put aside their differences to find a ticket that could change their lives by christmas day yeah so that's basically the plot of the movie and what the movie is actually about deirdre tammy and nicole are actually three sisters Re reunite at the family home just in time for christmas but it's not the holiday spirit that brings everyone home it's a promise of collecting share of their parents lottery winning in this case the money which they can only get if they repair their their relationship between them this is a said done this is easier easier said to be done daddy cares some serious emotional scars over having sacrificed so much for her sisters when they couldn't even bother to attend her wedding you know with her wife belinda but all basically comes to work at the end of the movie when they speak of the differences so basically the Adri in this case you know she stayed behind to take care of their, their family business their cafe and not only that to help her their father and not only that you know also also to help their mother who is going through very very severe health problems and of course you know uh, in this case the Edri, she feel like she have sacrificed so much for the family and now her sisters only is coming around because her father their father in this case have called to ask them to come because of that he wants to collect the lottery everybody together so the Edri feel like their sisters is coming from a very bad place and not actually coming for the right reasons to come spend the holidays with the family you know and also the Edra has this very very big you know uh mad side towards her sisters because they didn't attend her wedding you know with her wife belinda and that really hurts her so much and she actually speaks about it and who's belinda so basically belinda when she have decided to come out to her parents and tell them hey you know i'm gonna get married to a woman i'm in a relationship with a woman her parents you know basically re rejected her but belinda already knew that diedri was her person and that's the person who she wanted to be with and spend her entire life with so they basically went ahead and got married you know they're living happy they basically organizing the family and they are planning on extending the family as well but belinda's family never came around you know they basically just cut her off and didn't want anything to do with her belinda was hurt by it and it, during the movie you can see that she's still hurt by it and she still has hope that hopefully one day her you know her parents will come along and accept her relationship you know and she's actually a baker you know she makes very good cakes she also works with the edri so they have a very very pretty healthy relationship you know and belinda Linda is also the person who also motivates Diedra, basically telling her like, hey, you should better your relationship with your sisters. You should forgive, don't hold grudges, speak it out. You know, you don't have to be so harsh, you know, just try to find a common ground. But Diedra has her own personal feelings towards her family, in this case, her sisters. So after they reunite during the whole Christmas holidays, to spend Christmas together, they were trying to you know figure out where the lottery ticket is things didn't go as well you know but the edra and belinda they never actually got into any argument or disagreement at all but then later on as the movie develops you know each part goes and plays out you know the edra and belinda actually decides to announce to the family that they will be welcoming a baby boy you know they were actually waiting for the call you know because they went through the adoption process and they never told the family about it because they was not sure if they were actually gonna achieve that you know so you can see that later on they were skipping the secret from the family not because you know they were afraid of rejection no because the address family is like Belinda's family as well they are beloved there you know but I just wanted to make sure it was their 
right moment to tell everybody, you know, because everybody in at the address, basically family had secrets. Her other sister wanted the money because of a business. The other one was going broke. She didn't need money. She was with a guy who was only using her. So everybody had their own kind of secrets going on. And the other secret, it was that she and Belinda, they want to have a son and they were waiting for the adoption process to go through and for them to get accepted. So after as the movie plays out, you can actually see that, you know, Diedra and Belinda, they finally get that call, you know, they finally get the call that they were accepted and they can go ahead and go get their baby boy. And when they announced it to the family, of course, the whole family was super happy for them. Nobody saw it coming because it was super unexpected. But yes, everything played out very well. They went there, they got the baby, and then we have the final scene. And during the final scene, you can actually see that, you know, finally Belinda's family came around. And actually what surprised me is that one of the other sister actually made that call happen. And of course, Belinda, mother and father went to see the boy, the baby boy, their child. And finally, she got a chance to introduce the Edra to her family. In this case, Belinda finally got a chance to introduce her wife and her son to her family and her family finally mom and dad in this case finally came around and accepted her you know that was something very very beautiful to see to see the movie end in a very positive way for Belinda because I feel like everybody was getting the happy endings you know and Belinda she did get her happy ending she has her wife they have now their new baby boy but she still felt like you know, she wanted her family, she wanted her mom and her dad to be part of this process, you know, and the fact that they came around, it they took them a long time, but, you know, eventually they came around and that's what really, really mattered to her. So they end up speaking it out and it just ended up in a good, in a cafe, in a good energy, good vibe, you know, just good spirits and all over that. And I also want to say this movie is actually available to watch on BET. Yes, it's originally from BET. It's a Christmas movie. There's other storylines that also develops during the movie. But like I say, I like to be very specific just to focus on the lesbian stories lines. And the Edra and in this case Belinda storyline is that. I like it. It's very positive. No drama between them. It's just them supporting each other on what they want to do. The other also has goals and visions for herself. They are happy. They have a son. Belinda's parents came along. Uh, Diedra could finally make peace with her sisters. All of them are on good page. Her mom is still struggling with, you know, what she's going through. Her dad and her mom finally got the lottery ticket so they could go ahead and collect the money. So everything played out perfectly for everybody. Everybody won in this situation and the person who wasn't supposed to be part of it got cut off which was pretty well deserved. So for more details, I will 100% recommend you all to go to BET platform, type in the Christmas lottery and you guys will find it. And I also want to say if I mispronounce anything or say anything you guys might not understand, I truly apologize. You know, I'm kind of under the weather, but you know, I try my best to keep it as clean as possible. But if I don't, hey, my bad. Thank you so much for all the love and all the support you guys been showing. Please let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Go ahead, like, comment and subscribe until the next video and goodbye.